I wonder if the lad he got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? which was a lot. They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lot? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But, would have risen up. But, Ollie. Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up. We'd have had to. We'd have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thingamajig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Hole. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I... I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret? He has to. Margaret? Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Wastrels. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Ah, oh, for Fuck's sake! Join! It's a banger, you leaky scanner! Explosives! I, 
think they're setting up some kind of bomb? I think we might need to get out of here. Away and file your heads, you witness! It out of your shoulders. our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy. like me, did you? <clears throat> now I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. Fuse, why? Well, what if Private Wuss's name lied to us? Calm down. He's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. They've captured one of the home army lads. He could signal somebody for the window. Then why don't you fuck off back to Canary House if you're worried about it?
to get up the ladder. I think they're setting up another bomb. Where the hell are they getting explosives? Oh wait, they're missing something. No, I think they found it. I think they've stuck the fuse in. They're running away from it. You're going to break your legs, if you're very lucky. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. This doesn't work. I won't feel stupid for long. Chunks away! Margaret, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. Doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. There. Don't you feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. Almost as sweet as you, Margaret. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crowd, Meg. Do you know that? No! <laughs> well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Oh my. 
find me, love. I'm just here to read the meter. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war! <laughs> oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders. So, the sergeant says, I didn't see you at camouflage training, so I says, thanks! Uh, how? Ah! You never liked me, did you? I'm not sure that actually was the mate, if you know what I mean. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The cherries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. Well, he won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. Question why? I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill you. Just pretend it is me. Don't just stand there and go up. Hop to it. Oh. Tell it to the marine. They're blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. I'm just saying, maybe we should recruit. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the General. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Infiltrator! We got a live one, boys. Sir. <laughs> Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Duty. Uh. 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 Our own wee bannock burn. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. 
But we can't get into the military camp. Well, what about the distillery? They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. For God, for Harry and St. George. Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him. What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. You're right. You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. You're here. I think they draw to the plastic. Wait, Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Pal. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Starkey? Wait. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you then. We're still your bastard. Well, this'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Beatum Powell. Yes, ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day? Studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? Sorry you had to see that.
I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. I don't think they like you very much here. So, the sergeant says, I didn't see you at camouflage training, so I said... Attention all personnel. Thanks. The merry band players will be performing their brilliant <coughs> play... <coughs> Tell the sandman I said hello. ...in the mess hall. All are invited. Don't worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies. Marching gives you a sense of purpose. Trust me, I learned from the best. Possessed you to come here. Here, I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. This ain't a live fire exercise, is it? What's that? Oh. Didn't make a racket. Rather brutal. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Gives you a sense of purpose. If I've done this right, you'll wake up in a bit. Grab and hold him until his sergeant can vouch for him. If he runs, kill him. They're bombing us again! We beat you once, you beat 
Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Who's there? We all get what's coming to us in the end. Lay still, you bastard. The tanks were fake. The German tanks in the camp, paper mashing. Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train. Tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war... You can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Wait, didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. Y you knew? There's holes. In my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. You drop by for a chat. I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Oh, oh Margaret... I'm sorry. Margaret? Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, I Hop in. Do you remember my meat pounder? That I lent you two years ago. And you lost it smashing some televisions. That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor. No. You bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Eddie, you change me. Open up! Harry, I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. bridge. You're not hiding on his stock in that cart, are ya? I didn't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery. I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. 
They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Ollie Starkey! <laughs> I hear your house fell down! <laughs> Let me guess, a bottle of the usual. Much as I enjoy our quotidian transactions, I'm afraid I'm in need less of a distillation and more of a ratiocination. Oh, fuck up with the word of the day. Can we just open the gate for once? I could, but I won't. There is a mystery that confounds the best minds of the constabulary. A pomacious puzzle, if you will. Last night, there was unexpected morbidity at the apple tree. And malevolence at the marlis pomila, so to speak. Someone died last night at the apple tree. Find out how and why. And this bridge opens up to you like a rose in summer. Are we? Such a sad end to a beautiful life. Since when do you care about bobbies? Forget the bobbies. The tree. She's not going to produce fruit in a state she's in. Ollie, we not hear about a murdered tree. It's not the blights killed her. Something else. Smells like mustard. Oh dear God, tell me no one's got mustard gas bombs. That's a nasty way to die. Not that there are many cheery ones. There's how. We just need the why and the who. Oh, maybe you'd like to wake the dead and ask them your questions. The dead say to leave no stone unturned. Really? Of course not. If I could talk to the dead, I'd just ask them who murdered them. No stone or stone cold Bobby. This is our dead tree now. Fuck off. A tad bit territorial, aren't we? There they are. Get them. Maybe we shouldn't be moving them. Oh, I did it, Ken. If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. You'd better get a plaster on that. Unto him that hath, more shall be given. It happened at night, but they're not wearing their gas masks. Why would they cast time wars like a cap? Fertilizer, not the murder weapon. I'm afraid you've come to the end of your time. Hmm? What the hell does that mean? Aside from the obvious.
This one's buggered. I think someone shoved an ice pick through the filter. This one protect you against a ferret's fart. <laughs> you may have a wee headache later. Buggered again! to ask. Where are the Americans? Where? You'd better get a plaster on that. Have you got some answers for me? It appears your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with? The masks were tampered with. But who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy Jack! Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget a pop of joy before you hit the revolver. Take joy on put now. Try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Yeah. <laughs> 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 For God, for Harry and St. George. Yeah. 